Hi everyone, my name is Heather Jacobs and welcome to my flipped classroom. Today we're going to be taking a look at current trends in L2 writing and the influence of corpus linguistics. On today's agenda is, you know, just exploring what is corpus linguistics and taking a look at the history and then investigating how teaching materials have changed due to the impact of corpus-based studies and also how corpus linguistics is being used as a tool for students primarily in the expansion of their vocabulary and how that affects their writing. And then finally we're going to take a look at a recent study that investigates the effects of lexical input in second language writing. So to begin so to begin with, <clears throat> corpus linguistics, um, or the word corpus, is derived from the Latin word meaning body. And in this case, a corpus is a body or a collection of authentic texts uh, that include both written and spoken data. They vary across different genres, so this could include academic, uh, newspaper, or fiction. And then these are then stored in a computer system that relies upon computational analysis to determine frequency. The field of corpus linguistics emerges in the 1960s. Certainly prior to this, um, data was being collected, corpuses were being uh, comprised, but they were done primarily by hand. Now all this changes with the invention of the computer. Um, so in the 1960s, the, for, the first corpus um, is created at Brown University in Rhode Island by Kareka and Francis. When the Brown Corpus was being created, generative grammar dominated linguistics, and there was little tolerance for approaches to linguistic study that did not adhere to what generative grammarians deemed acceptable linguistic practice. And because of this, or as a consequence of this, um, even though the creators of the Brown Corpus um, are now regarded as pioneers and visionaries in the corpus linguistic community, in the 1960s, their effort to create a machine-readable corpus of English were not warmly accepted by many members of the community. Certainly, this has changed. Um, that dichotomy um, no longer exists or is no longer as strong as once was. Um, teachers these days recognize the need to incorporate corpus-based studies in their creation of materials and in their approaches to the teaching of writing in the classroom. In regards, to, in regards to teaching materials, there's a couple of trends that one can notice. Um, previous teaching materials were often heavy with prescriptive rules on grammar, and that language was provided to students without a whole lot of context. These days, if you open up let's say, a focus on grammar, what you'll find are authentic texts being used as sources of materials for students to study. Um, another thing that you'll find is a focus on um, genre, and with that, word patterns associated with each genre. If a teacher is at a loss for what to teach, they need only to look at corpus-based studies and determine what patterns are being found most frequently. Another trend that we're noticing in L2 writing is the way in which students go about learning how to write. Um, as I may have mentioned earlier, there's a shift from deductive learning to inductive learning. So instead of rules being provided to students, students are being provided authentic text where they can go and look at these various patterns and decipher what those patterns are for themselves. Another way in which corpus linguistics is influencing how students are learning about writing is through the introduction of new academic word lists. Um, one of the main complaints of Write, teachers of writing is that their students lack the vocabulary needed to produce sophisticated texts and so these days students are being provided new academic word lists and um, they are using concordancers to go in and take a look at the ways in which words are being used and in turn this increases their vocabulary and their awareness of the words 
and the goal is that hopefully by doing this students can incorporate um, these new patterns, these new collocations into their own writing. It does appear that exposure to new language, um, in particular vocabulary, through the use of concordancers in class is beneficial. In a recent study um, entitled The Effects of Lexical Input in Second Language Writing, a Corpus-Informed Approach, 40 Chinese students in their third year at university, um, all of whom were majoring in English for business purposes, um, participated in a study to determine whether or not concordancing um, was beneficial and had a positive influence on a student's writing. In this study, the participants were randomly assigned to a control group and an experimental group, each group consisting of 20 students. A writing pretest was conducted before the experiment that showed that there was no statistically significant difference in the writing competency between two groups. Both the control group and the experimental group were exposed to uh, new vocabulary surrounding the topic of gambling. The experimental group received training regarding the use of concordancers and then learned their vocabulary through that form. The control group was only allowed to use dictionaries. Following their initial exposure to the new vocabulary, both the control group and the experimental group were asked to provide a second writing sample. And as you can see from this graph, um, the students in the experimental group scored higher. Following that, two weeks later, they were given a delayed post-test. And again, what we see is that the students who worked with the concordancers outscored um, the other students. Now, an interesting result of this study was that the students' holistic scores did not go up. What The scores that were improved were the scores related to vocabulary. For instance, uh, in a pretest, a student had written, but when so many people pour into the beautiful scene, problem arises as well, which makes it controversy. Here the student is using the word controversy inappropriately. After exposure to vocabulary via the concordancer, in the second writing sample, the student wrote, However, lottery games have provoked considerable controversy. So here we can see that the student is using the word in a more appropriate manner. Another interesting result of this study is that students were asked whether or not they found concordancing to be beneficial and whether they enjoyed it. And as it turns out, the majority of the participants found the entire process beneficial and rewarding. Most students reported to find the deductive learning process enjoyable. Today we've taken a look at the way corpus linguistics is being used in the teaching of L2 writing and in the way that it's being used to shape the development of materials. But before I go, I wanted to leave you with a few final thoughts. Um, certainly this study, as well as others, have pointed to the need for students to be trained prior to using concordances. So if you're planning on instituting this in your own classroom, this is something to keep in mind. Another finding is that students tend to be overwhelmed by so much text. In the concordance, or what you'll find is line after line after line of text. And if you're looking at that for a lengthy amount of time, it's really easy uh, to become tired. So teachers need to find a balance. They need to mitigate their approach to corpus linguistics. And certainly <clears throat> what might be more beneficial are shorter periods of exposure and repeated periods of exposure. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the classroom.